suicide. Yes. And I'll tell you something really interesting about that. There's a book called Life After Life by Raymond Moody. And there's a section in there about suicide in which he mentions a woman who co committed suicide. She was actually uh, declared dead, but then she was brought back to life after blood transfusions. And he asked her, he interviewed her and asked her what happened. She said she found herself doing it over and over again. And the hadith, according to the Prophet Muhammad, said if anyone who commits suicide will continue to do that with the same intensity until the Day of Judgment. Although it is not considered, uh, it is not considered a uh, kufr. In other words, the person is not, if a, if a Muslim commits suicide, they're still Muslim, they're buried as a Muslim. But it's, it's one of the worst things that you can do. If no, absolutely. If somebody is is anybody who is out of their mind is not held held to account by Sharia, right? Half the twentieth century. If they're out of their mind, you need the full witnesses. No, no, no. In other words, if if somebody was clinically depressed to the point where they were non-functional. You know, the accountability, it's hard to, to, for the accountability to be, you know, I mean, those things, it's just difficult. They're gray areas. But the idea is that if somebody, if they really are not functioning, you know, that, the, that accountability is based on sound intellect, that, that is part of accountability. And this, again, like in Islam, you have somebody who's all their life, they've been punished, you know, since their time they were born, beaten as a child and all these things. They become sociopathic or... From an Islamic point of view, when they reach adulthood, they're accountable. From, in real terms, we would say, Allahu Anam, what's going to happen on the Day of Judgment? Because the Prophet said many people, many parents will be taken to account for what they did to their children. You see? Because the, it is the parent's response, it's a trust. That's why uh, parent, parenthood is so strong in Islam. You know, it's, because it's a divine trust. Children are trust in the hands of the parents. And if they betray the trust, then they can destroy the children. Any, I'm going to open up to question, discussion.